Hello and welcome. I'm UK Gamer 808 and today we are looking at Westbridge Hills for Farming Simulator 19. Just been released today out on all platforms. This map was made by Vanquish081. It came from 2013 and basically it's been ramped up for FS19 Westbridge Hills. So let's have a look and see what's going on. There's the overall map and you can see we've got 21 fields but all the fields are huge. They are all a fair decent size. We start off bang in the middle there. That's your main farm area. And overall the cost of the fields is not too bad but they are big fields anyway. We've got 838 there and then 600,000. That one's a whopping 1.3 and you see yeah there it's all going to cost money but it makes the game that little bit more harder simple as that isn't it right so biogas there i bought that already and we're talking 205,896 pounds for that but overall there are some little parcels like there 108 and the other one there 82,000 so there are smaller fields but not many we just got those few around that area and that's your lot so coming down the bottom of the map we've got a couple of the cell points over this side and then the other points we've got the caves down here with biogas and a few of the other, other cell points which we go through and then we go up to the train station and then this is an area where there's just lots of houses nice detailed area actually it looks pretty cool and then we move on round past the baseball and down to the vegetable warehouse with the storage animal dealer so there's a few quite a few sell points on this one and we go down to the mill and the sheep we've only got sheep chickens and cows set up at the moment this is on new farmer so we go on to the prices of everything and you can see we've we've got quite a few different ones going on five are the main sell points and then we've got biogas there you've got the barn biomass heating for selling your wood chips as well so you've got the sawmill but the sawmill is only going to sell wood that's your lot now the cost for where are we gone biogas there is 450 on the silage and then 180 on the manure and slurry so not too bad prices of everything else all everything's on normal settings at the moment and they're pretty good not too bad is it always makes a difference when you've got about five of them there we've got 300,000 liters in our silos and same as any other game we start off with quite a few different bits and bobs you start off with a couple of John Deere's and various other ones I'll show you that in a minute so that's what we start off with we got a John Deere the 6230 and then the fast track the Stara they're nice tractors they are I like those and the T560 and then we've got a trailer headers and various other items and then these are the ones what go with this map which uh, you can remove if you want now you look at that slot cane 383 and we've got all this here so that's that's not bad it's going to be quite low after i've had a look round, i'll fit it in how much how many slots it is and with everything deleted is 167 slots that's a crazy low number that's pretty awesome so there's a lot of you going to be loving that lots of modification available on this map but we have got different your fertilizer point there and then seeds point herbicide point fertilizer that fertilizer point as well and there's quite a few gas stations dotted around but you haven't got excessive amount but at least we have different tractors so that's that's cool right so starting off put the little map on and you see we're in the main farm area now going over this way we've got our workshop trigger and it's a shame but we can't go into these buildings they don't open or anything nothing there 
which is a bit of a shame but it is a decent area anyway out here then we've got the herbicide by point with the fertilizers liquid fertilizer and your normal fertilizer and this is one of the silos now the silos on these let me go back in and show you there's the two different silos that's the one we're looking at now the multi silo well that's only going to take your potatoes your sugar peat and your wood chips that's it where your large grain sign what you got your wheat barley canola corn oats sunflowers and soybeans so it's not going to take everything if you're used to playing with silos which take everything so you might want to get rid of those but that's the one there you fill it up on that side and then it's got a little track around the back for dropping it off then we have got some storage buildings on the left hand side here which that's a they're a decent size they are anyway and then we work on our way around to the other silo which is just here and then it's got our fill from the silo on that side just there so head over there this way and we've got our seed point to buy in is just there and then we've got these silos here that these are all just for show and then moving on rain we've got our chickens so this is the chickens here and that's your buy-in just there and I've got a couple in with your food your trough and that's where your eggs are gonna appear so that is the main farmyard area which you can see it is first of all I thought well if you can't use these buildings what's the point but it's to um you know is to make it all look look the part and it for the American map and um, what a map it is it really is right I'll tell you what we need to go round to the farmhouse which is round this way I think I could have gone up that way but yeah it's down, down here let's keep that mini map on so you can see where we're going whoa and the farmhouse is just out the back just here so for sleeping you can only use that door that door is the only one what will let you sleep and we are head our way up the other way towards the shop first I think we'll go to the shop first so we're coming up to the shop now and I like the terrain on this map already I thought it was going to be pretty flat and it's not at all there's some nice little hills here and there looks pretty cool I like it so we've got our main shop area doors open and we go in there for buy-in and then out the back is cash point and the workshop trigger Right, so we head our way down to the cows now I think and there's a couple of cell points that down that way but it's, when you look over the landscape as well you can see quite a fair way I do like maps like that I will see you there shortly so this is where we have our cows and you see now we're at the bottom end of the map there so we've got our food troughs just there and then that's for bringing them in and then we've got the manure point round the back here and the water trough just there now I didn't see the slurry but down this other end oh there there's a slurry yeah I didn't see that massive huge slurry tank down over this bit we have the milk just there so that's the cows so we can head our, head our way down you see this is one of these smaller fields on the left hand side here but they're still a decent size and we better stop in at the biogas on the way around right so we're at the biogas and this is huge but it's what you want 
there's going to be a serious amount of silage in those bunkers they're absolutely they're so deep as well awesome right so that's where we're dropping off into there and it hasn't got any chevrons on the floor so i think you're going to be loading that one in and then over this way we have got the lime station and then the digestate point is just there and then we'll head our way back over to the other side and there's a fuel fuel station just oh I thought what is that there I didn't notice that when I came around earlier the way station anyway there's a fuel point just on the left hand side and here we got the restaurant which we dropped that off straight in there which is a nice easy drop off point nothing in the way I thought it wasn't going to let me in that way then and then here is where we're going to get rid of our wood chips because like I said you can't sell wood chips at the sawmill you have to drop it off in the biomass heating station which uh, I haven't seen much of those since FS17 and they're a bit slow on those gates or was I a bit too close to it no they are a bit slow so here we have the sawmill and same again nice big open area nice little sawmill not loads going on not too busy and we want to go down oh, we want to go always find a tree right we're going to head up to the train station now so I shall see you there in a moment right so here we are at the train station and it's got another big storage shed down there which they're always a nice size and your drop off is just up on this ramp just here so we're heading away across the tracks oh, why do I always manage to find somewhere right anyway moving on now we've got this large built up area well not large but uh, this is where there's a uh, quite a few things going on I won't show you everything we'll just take a, a cruise through but it does look lovely Matt it's uh, very bright because it's only what 10 o'clock I've been on here for a couple of hours already having a look around and uh, yes yeah, nice nice looking map whoa slow it down a bit you do forget how quick this car is and we got our fuel just there on the left hand side and we've also got down to coming down to our next oh that's the first bit of traffic i didn't realize there was traffic right anyway we're moving on down to our next cell point which is the vegetable warehouse and we come past the oh here's the traffic yeah I did see this earlier we come across the baseball ground looks pretty cool and then up to the vegetable warehouse where we've got some more buy points here for your fertilizer and your herbicides and what have you so there's a drop off for the vegetable warehouse and then we come over and we've got another storage shed on the left hand side with more fuel loads of fuel on this map and then we come into the animal dealer which triggers just there for it and you see there's ones we've got at the moment just those three
and then this drop off point here is for the mill so they are quite together a lot of these which uh, yeah they're all quite sort of in little clumps in three places basically aren't they so right let's head our way down towards the sheep pasture I will see you there in a moment right we're down at the mill where the last one wasn't the mill it was storages that was what that one was called this one is the mill I thought got a bit confused with that then so you drop off for us there and then we go across the across the lines and then we head our way down to the sheep pasture but I do like all these hills it's awesome really love it whoa slow it down so we got our sheep pasture just there and then for there's your food and your water and then your um, your bales of wool are going to come over over there on that square and then over there at this point is where you're going to buy your sheep just there right so we just got to head down towards the spinnery now which is down this way I'll see you there in a moment and we come down to yet another fuel point so you're never that far away from fuel which is uh, always good I suppose And then we come down to the spinnery, which is this drop off point just there. And the last two we've got are the barn and the ranch, which the barn is just that one just over there with the chevrons off because it, it is chevron most of this. You can see what's what, and that is the ranch. but overall Westbridge Hills FS19 awesome another it's quite big map fair fair old size and with big fields it's quite easy to make some money and loving the train and the overall look of it love it pretty pretty good done a good job fair play fair play we don't get many maps what our pants do we whoa you just gotta slow it down slow it down Right oh well that's it for Westbridge Hills Farming Simulator 19 or Westbridge Hills FS19 whatever you want to call it and that's a first look map tour for it so if you want to go and have a look at that go for it I'll show you where everything is let me know in the comments if it appeals to you I think this one will be a popular map right oh well if you haven't uh, already subscribed and you enjoyed the content why not hit that subscribe button trying to get a thousand subscribers before the end of the year and it's it's going to be close it really is at the moment and if you've enjoyed this video smash that like button for me and i will see you next time